What's going on, y'all? It's J.D. Pakel today on CFB with J.D. We're going to check in on the quarterback race down there in College Station from their spring game this past Saturday. Welcome into CFB with JD, the people's channel. Everything you know, everything you love about college football happens here on a daily basis. Would encourage you to subscribe. Armstrong Sims, Jet McKenzie doing the heavy lifting. Follow me on Twitter at JD Pakel to help out with all that. But let's get to the meat of the conversation. The Aggies had their spring game this past Saturday. It's a three headed quarterback race two-headed quarterback race, depending on who you ask. You got Haynes King, you got Max Johnson, you got Connor Wegman. All three of those guys competing for the starting spot under Jimbo Fisher. But here's what I want to talk about. The best and worst of all three of these guys from this past Saturday. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Haynes King. One of the things that you love about him is he's a phenomenal athlete. One of the best things he does is use his legs. So right here in the spring game, he did just that. The best thing we saw from Haynes King this past Saturday, a little zone read action. The end is going to try and crash. Going to try and take care of a running back. He's going to say, that's fine. I'll pull it and get to work. Watch what he does. Again, right here, boom. Beautiful, decisive read. Now, we got to make him miss if we're Haynes King. He's our guy. Get out on the edge. Now, uh, does, he, does he make him miss? Does he actually tackle him if it's not two-hand touch? I don't know. Again, one of the three fastest players on their roster broke over 22 miles an hour in the spring. So I'll go ahead and say we make him miss. Then gets up field. Look at one, two, three. Can't tackle me. That's great. Again, that's probably the advantage you have with Haynes King at quarterback. You're able to have... One of the best athletes on the field, if not the best athlete on the field, playing quarterback for you, carrying the rock. That's the advantage. Now, here's the bad about Haynes King. It's been the knock on him since he's gotten to College Station. Not a very patient passer of the football. It doesn't really take what the defense gives him a whole lot. That showed itself twice in terms of bad interceptions for Haynes King. So right here, we got an in-breaking route, and we're just going to go ahead and throw it into three people. Drop back. We got a guy right here that we're not accounting for. Here's the in-breaking route, Musa Muhammad. Corners on the tail. And he's actually going to let this football sail. So inaccurate, into three men, safety intercepts it. It's not going to help you win the starting quarterback job if you're Haynes King. Again, that's been the knock time and time again for Haynes King. Can you just take what the defense gives you? You got a great arm. Inconsistent at times, sure, but you got a great arm. You can get it where it needs to go, but making good decisions and being patient with the football is something that Aggie fans need to see more from Haynes King in order to trust him with the starting quarterback job. So, another guy in this competition, Max Johnson. He, to me, had the best day of all the quarterbacks in College Station, okay? I gave him about a B plus, did some things you love, did some things that you wish were a little more consistent, but overall, I thought Max Johnson played great. Probably the leader in the clubhouse for me right now in College Station. We'll see how this thing shakes out in the fall. Right here, though, I love it. He doesn't force the football into a place where he doesn't need to, if that makes sense. He's really patient with the ball. Right here. We got a man concept. So we're man across the board in the spring game, as you typically are. We're man right here. We're man right here. Pretty vanilla scheme from the defense. We're going to get some leakage coming through here. He feels it. He says, okay, I'm going to buy some time because in a spring game, if they even look at you and you're the quarterback, I'll call you down. Buys time with his legs. Receiver does a great job over here. He's going to break out. He's going to not force the ball. Finds his man wide open. Throws him open. Great. Now let's let him go to work. That's great, and that's all you need to do. We're not even going to try and talk about this too much because the receiver just makes our job easy. But that's all you need to do if you're a quarterback in this offense. You're going to have weapons. you got Anaya Smith. you got Evan Storer, who's going to be a playmaker as a true freshman for you. If you can just take what the defense gives you, if you can buy time and be a facilitator, things are going to work out for you really well. Max Johnson did some things with his legs as well that you love in this game, but that to me told me all I need to know about Max Johnson, being able to avoid pressure, step up, Deliver the football. Just be a distributor. You don't have to win the Heisman Trophy. You don't have to be Johnny Manziel. You can make the throws you need to make. You're going to be in really good shape, and A&M has enough talent to be in really good shape over the course of the season. So that was something that I loved to see from Max Johnson. Avoid the rush. Throw the ball. Keep the simple things simple. Now, 
One thing that I need to see more of from Max Johnson is consistency. He makes one play that's phenomenal, like you saw a play ago, finds his man, and then the next play makes a good decision, but he's inconsistent with his accuracy. Now there was 30 mile per hour winds that could have played a factor, but I've seen too much of this from Max Johnson to make me feel great about his chances as a starting quarterback going forward. Need to see more consistency. Again, had the best day, but I need to see more consistency from him to make sure he wins this job. So right here, little RPO scheme, we're gonna have an in-breaking route, he's going deep here. We're reading these linebackers. So if they come up, we're gonna go ahead and throw it past their ear. If they wanna sit back, we're gonna hand the football. They come up and provide a really nice window for this RPO. Boom, so he's coming in here. All this real estate, great decision, we're off it right away, perfect. Max Johnson needs to throw the football upfield to allow my man to get to work and get some yards oh, right away. Instead, puts it on his back shoulder. He has to adjust to it. Ball falls into the hands of the defender because of the interception. Right there. Tips are picks. So if Max Johnson's accurate right there, you probably have a big play. Your receiver gets some room to work. You got some real estate. Again, made the right decision, made the right read. I think he actually made it with pretty good timing as well, but that ball was behind his receiver. Tips are picks, you saw it right there. Need more consistency from number 14. Nonetheless, a good showing. Now here's the cat that everybody's excited about in College Station, Connor Wegman. Five star, number one pocket passer in the country. Dude's going to be the future at Texas A&M. I think he's probably still a year or two away. In a perfect world, he redshirts. I know it's a big name, for good reason you're excited about him in College Station, but you need some time for him to develop. So right here, this was probably the best thing he did all day. This might have been the best throw all day from any quarterback. You're going to have a little, uh, a little stop route out here. You're going to have a, a bender route right here. So he's trying to get around this defender in man coverage, and he's got to avoid the rush and make a throw. Watch what happens. Watch the anticipation. He's going to get a little bit of pressure right here, and he's going to just take a step back. He doesn't panic. Takes a step back, a little bit off balance, throws a shot right here. Anticipates it past that defender. Watch it again. Right here, he's just now getting around this defender. He is throwing to a spot. He's throwing where he knows he's going to be. Nice little rifle shot. Perfect. I love that by Mac. I love that by uh, Connor Wegman right there. And that just shows you the potential, the arm talent, command of the of the football, being able to just whirl it in there. Kid's a special talent. Give him some time to be special, and he's going to get there. Now, a little four verticals concept. We're here, we're here, we're deep here. Man coverage on the bottom, I don't hate that. We got a little zone on the other side. So right here for Connor Wegman, this isn't a catastrophic play, it's not an interception, it's not something that's gonna get you in trouble, but you could have had a touchdown, and instead you settle for the 50-50 ball. So he goes deep. I don't hate the throw because you honestly have it if you want it, but right here, if he sticks on this a little bit longer and moves this safety with his eyes, he has a seam route coming right up the field right there. And that's what Jimbo wants. Right here, he's got him wide open. Hit him, Connor. Instead, takes a shot over here. It's not a bad throw. It's not a bad play. It's not a bad option. But overall, Connor, we want touchdowns. We want you to hit our guy in stride. Take the sure thing and don't throw the 50-50 ball. Again, Connor Wegman, all of the talent in the world. I thought he actually played pretty well considering the fact he's supposed to be at prom. He's gonna be fine. Connor Wegman is the future A&M. Haynes King and Max Johnson right now going neck and neck for that job. Again, my money based on this spring game, I think Max Johnson gives you the best chance to win because of the consistency in his decision making. Now, consistency in terms of throwing the football and accuracy, I need more from you, Max, but Haynes King, continues to put the ball in jeopardy, continues to make poor decisions. I need to see some uh, much better decision making in the fall if I want Haynes King to be my starter. So it's kind of the trade off between the higher ceiling and the higher floor between Max Johnson and Haynes King. Regardless, feel pretty confident Jimbo's gonna get the right guy out there. He makes a lot more money than me to make these decisions. That's it for us here at CFB with JD. Appreciate you tuning in. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter at JD Pacel. We're going to keep the party rolling. We will see y'all next time.